What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Now, before we get started, do me and yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out each and every Wednesday. Any other day you get a video from me, consider it a bonus. And now, here's this week's episode of Ask a Real DJ. Ah, oh, man. All right, folks. Once again, here we are. It's your boy, The Mix Monster, DJ Coach K. This is Ask a Real DJ. And yes, we are here for DJ Coach K's 10 Commandments for DJs, part number four, as we talk about Commandment 7 and Commandment 8. Are you ready for them? Okay. Now, before we get started on those, here's what I want you to do and I want you to understand. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Agree to disagree? Like, love, comment, follow, and all that good stuff. All right? Even subscribe if you have to. If you feel like you want to follow your boy, which I hope you do. Anyhow, agree to disagree as I stated. I want to see the comments. I want to get an understanding of are these working for you, are they not working for you. If you feel like there's something better for you that works for you, let's talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's build together. All right. So with that being said, okay, let's talk about seven and eight. But first, let's rehash. Number one, practice. Number two, know your lane. Number three, Know the business side of being a DJ. Number four, market thyself. Number five, play to the crowd and not yourself. Number six, entertain, engage, and excite your crowd. So with that being said, let's talk about seven and eight. These commandments right here. Okay, number seven. Huh. Be a DJ and not a me J. Okay, in other words, don't let your ego override your greatness because you're Facebook or YouTube famous. Okay. Come down a notch. Don't let your family and friends do you that disastrous favor of making you think you're the best DJ in the world when you're not even on the level of bedroom DJ. Okay? Just because you got in the club and you got to rock out and the dance floor was half packed and you tried to play it off like it was rocking all night, stop that. Or if you was at a wedding and you got people rocking to well the wobble the cupid shuffle then you're talking about you're killing it and you know you're lying and everybody in their mama that's heard the song already know what you're playing even if you put it on mute stop that okay be a dj not a me j okay don't let your ego override your greatness that whole diva in you get rid of it rebuke it right now like we need to rebuke the devil and all these problems in the world today okay you play to the people. You play for the people. You make them dance. You make them sing. You make them have a good time. You make them forget their worries, cares, and all the problems of the world. Just for a few hours. That's what you do. Because of your love of music and sharing it with the world. Period. Let's think about that for a minute. Okay? Let's really think about that. Oh, man. So, lose that whole attitude that you're the man. Okay, lose it because you get five drink tickets instead of four. Come on, think about that. Oh my goodness, commandment number eight. Let's talk about it today, ladies and gentlemen. Maintain a level of professionalism each and every time. At all times, maintain your level of professionalism. All right? You know, it's one thing to be outgoing. It's one thing to be a, a party frame of mind, DJ. You should have both of those in your repertoire. Yes, you should. But... A DJ that is about his or her business is a successful DJ. All right? So you're not doing a lot of things like drinking on the job. Don't tell me about, oh my goodness, I need to get me a little tipsy. I need to get me a little handy hand hand before I get my rock on, my party on. Okay, if you're getting paid to do the party, that's a negative. Once you get behind those decks, you should be ready to rock out no matter what, period. Okay? And also, leave Shorty alone. Okay? Leave him, leave her alone until the end of the night. Bottom line, the last thing you need is an issue of she's not feeling your advances. Especially when your job is to make sure that the client is happy, not 
you getting your, your rocks off. Stop that right now. You are professional, so be a professional. Act as a professional. Act accordingly. Maintain your level of professionalism at all times. Oh, man, I can't wait to get my glasses because I'm looking in this screen like, hey, we'll talk about that later. Anyhow, maintain your level of professionalism for the very fact that in order for you to be successful, you have to be about your business. All right. Don't be a pervert and don't drink on the job, especially if you have to drive at the end of the night. Don't drink and drive. Remember this, you got to get home to your family. And the only way you're going to get home to your family is by being sober. It's bad enough you already did all this work and you're tired. So you already got that strike one against you going home from wherever you're going. So don't enhance it by drinking. I might sound like a parent right now, but do yourself a favor, get home to your family. And if you want to really get with Shorty, if she's failing you, and y'all flirting a little during the event, do yourself a favor. Say, listen, here's the bottom line. I want to get with you. Can we talk a little later at the end of the night? But right now, I got to handle business. Plain and simple. Not trying to get at her and then you're messing up your songs, you're messing up your transitions, your mixes sound horrible because you're too busy focusing on her booty. <clears throat> Stop right now. Do yourself a favor. Rock out. Do your job. Then, okay, work hard, play harder later on. Okay? Bottom line. All right, it's your boy, The Mix Monster, DJ Coach K. And, uh, well, next Wednesday, we'll talk about the final two commandments, 9 and 10. So, as I always say, like, love, follow me from Facebook to YouTube on all my social media pages and all that good stuff. I don't remember it all right now. I really don't give a eh. Anyhow, much love to each and every one of y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you next Wednesday for the final two commandments of DJ Coach K's personal 10 commandments for DJs. All right. Oh, man, it's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach Case, saying, I'm up, I'm out of here, see you, what you want to be you? Salute, deuces.